We are live on Facebook. Whenever you're ready. If everyone would take your seats, we'll get started. Okay, well, welcome everyone. Uh, I'll call the meeting to order for the August 2021 uh, general membership of the Greater McAllen Association of Realtors. Um, we'll start off with their invocation and pledge. If you would please stand, I've asked uh, Divya by E to uh, do our invocation for us. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful day. We just ask that you be in each of our conversations this morning as we discuss our order of business and grow our association. Lord, we thank you for this beautiful opportunity to come together as leadership and work together and unify our association along with its members. We ask that you be with each of us today and our extended families through this trying time, as well as those abroad and in other countries, Lord. We thank you for the opportunity again, and we appreciate all that you've given us. In your heavenly name we pray, amen. amen. Thank you, Dindia. And if you would please join me in the pledge to the U.S. flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America. And to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And to the Texas flag, honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Again, thank you all for coming. Um, this is kind of an interesting situation that we've got, obviously with COVID and, and the restrictions and the, and the uh, uh, protocols that we want to go through to keep everyone safe. Uh, we have uh, people on a Zoom that will be part of the meeting as well. And then, of course, as you know, this meeting is streamed live on Facebook for all of our members to, to view. And they'll also be able to view it uh, after the fact as well. So that's uh, that's also very, very good. Um, again, I don't remember if I introduced myself. My name is Lee Cheeks. I am your 2021 president for the Greater Macau Association of Realtors. And I will uh, uh, help conduct the meeting at least through the committee reports and then I'll, I'll turn it over to Jonathan uh, for the business that we need to conduct. First up is the budget committee. Adindi Bayi is our treasurer and she will give that uh, report now. Good morning, everyone. We had a great meeting and our order of business was that we did have Bruin and Associates come together with us and review our financials for June. So we covered our financial reports and they were available to answer any committee questions. We always go over specific reports, which include the attendance chart and the information report on our previous meetings and approved those minutes. We then reviewed monthly recaps, and this is on a consistent basis. We looked at the education income and expense activity. We reviewed our MLS vendors, the fees that they're being charged, and we also added Rent Spree, whom is a new vendor, and we added them to the list, although there's no charge for that. And this was, we are the first, uh, I guess MLS, we're the first ones to integrate Rent Spree into the system. And our members have really embraced that service and that opportunity. We also looked at interest rates that were maturing for certain CDs and review, we went ahead and renewed two of those. And we also did check with our Morgan Stanley and discussed having another corporate credit card uh, with a lower limit for staff to use for certain items that they need to purchase uh, when needed if the CEO is traveling. Um, sometimes conferences are abroad, not abroad, but they're outside the area 
and we needed another way for them to be purchasing small items like meals, office supplies, things that they might need here locally when that person is out of the area. So we found that Morgan Stanley did not have a credit card. We did some research and looked at other avenues. Um, we did ask to check with other banks to see if we could look for a lower limit of credit. Then we also looked at our task force uh, investment policy that we've been really working through diligently and very progressively and productively. So uh, we were looking at our investment policy objectives and guidelines and we provided feedback to that task force and went over any questions that the committee might have about the financials. That committee is doing very well and we've made quite a bit of progress with Morgan Stanley and we did submit a packet of information to them with all of the, uh, all of the details and we're waiting for a review on that in reference to our investment policy. At that point, there were no further questions and we adjourned the meeting. Thank you. Yeah, uh, Dania's been doing a great job and uh, we're making some incredible progress as you mentioned, as she mentioned, uh, with our investment as well as something that we started um, fairly recently. And I think that's going to really benefit the association greatly. Uh, next up is the Diversity Inclusion Committee. And if it wasn't for Missy, we wouldn't even have this committee. Uh, it is, I've been doing some incredible work and I'll just hand it over to you so you can tell us what, what, what you're doing. Thank you. And it's actually not me. Um, big kudos. I think um, many of y'all have already seen the videos that have been going out. It's been a struggle to um, talk about diversity, uh, equity, and inclusion. It's a difficult conversation to have. So our committee went down to the basics and we thought rather than have all the misinformation go around, let's go ahead and define what DEI really is and what it is not. So um, we had the first of the, the series uh, within the next three months of the definitions of what diversity, equity, and inclusion is. And I'm so happy that so many of us have stepped forward and participated in this. We've done an excellent job. I think um, this is showcasing exactly what GMER has done to to be the right role model for this type of, uh, this topic. So I'm so pleased. I hope that you guys continue to uh, be a part of it and understand a little bit more so that way we can make sure that we do not do what some of the other areas of the nation have done. So we're doing everything right. We continue to be a role model for our sister, our sister associations and um, I'm, so, so happy. We've got some serious celebrity movie stars. Um, I hope that they continue to be realtors, but man, did they miss their calling. Um, so thank you, Alberto. I think he's in the audience. Um, we've got, uh, who else is? Bethy. Beth, she's not here. Yeah, Bethy. We had so many great agents step forward and begin that tough conversation. So. I hope that this continues and we continue to grow and do things in the right way. We have some events coming up as, as well, uh, really, really big events. Um, right now, because of COVID though, things are still a little bit, um, what was the word, fluid? Um, so once everything gets uh, knocked into concrete, we're going to make the, the, the big explosion and, and hope that, um, we, we get all of your support and y'all attend. So again, thank you so much. The diversity um, committee has been a soapbox for me. Uh, I think each one of us at one time of our life have been excluded for some reason and it's been hurtful and maybe it's been for a wrong reason. So I'm hoping that we're able to go ahead and move forward, especially when it comes to um, our clients and making them homeowners. Uh, property owners um, and sellers as well. So thank you all again. Missy, Missy, oh, that, no. the, oh, is that not fluid anymore? Well, yeah, no, just. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> that's why I was kind of looking to your direction. So Dr. Dedman, the uh, gentleman who uh, did the whole, was it 2020 or Dateline or? Yes, it was. One a, of those exposés. 
Um, he was the one that did the whole um, the New England undercover when um, yeah, the Long the, Island divided. That's what Long called. Island divided. Yes, um, that has been spread around everywhere of what not to do. Um, he will be coming over here um, to speak to us on September 26th, 16th. 16th. Just, sorry, I have no coffee, clearly. Mm -hmm. September 16th, and um, we hope that each one of you guys join us. Again, we're going to have um, some more information on that and how to register for the event um, and a whole lot more information on that. So please look forward to GMAR Connect, and um, that's it. Awesome. Thank you, Missy, and, and the, the committee's been doing some great work, as she pointed out, but it's because of her leadership that, that we're moving in the direction that we are. Next up is the Education Committee, Monica Rodriguez, uh, and she's online, or? I don't see her on, uh, that she's joined. Okay, well, then we'll just move on. Uh, I know I saw David. David Casades is our MLS Committee Chairman, and I'll uh, turn it over to you, David. Thank you. I don't want to. I haven't had coffee yet. What do you want to talk about, Lee? There's been a lot going on. Um, okay, thank you, David. Well, then we'll start. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Now, well, okay. So I know the big topic was earlier this year about uh, NER and the Justice Department and all that stuff. Uh, all of that, I'm not even going to touch because it's up in the wind uh, uh, right now. We're, we're still pending all that. The only thing that I really have uh, to update is a couple items we are working on uh, perfecting uh, the listing data checker system in the back end where we're trying to create the rules uh, digitally, <clears throat> basically coding the matrix system to be able to detect any anomalies or issues or discrepancies in the data. Um, the thing that we always harp on at the MLS committee and new member orientation is data. We're only as strong as our data. So we're trying to protect that. We're trying to you know clean it up as much as possible. Um, I encourage everybody to attend as many education classes uh, as possible pertaining to MLS uh, rules, bylaws, all that stuff, uh, just so we can clean up all the information. Um, the other one that we're, well, part of it is the, the fine schedules and all that stuff that need to be uh, cleaned up with that. Um, the last tip that I have, uh, it, it's been something that's been coming up and, and kind of spiking a lot uh, since the pandemic started. Um, and, it, and it started growing really, really quickly. Um, we need to be careful. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to speak to all of the membership right now. We need to be careful about a couple things. Zero days on market uh, with properties that are potentially coming up as <clears throat> that could be misconstrued as pocket listings. Uh, you need to be very, very careful with that because that falls under uh, the MLS uh, MLS uh, guidance, and then also uh, it could potentially violate the clear cooperation policy for the 24 hour rule. Um, on top of that, what happened for those who, who are doing the marketing, and since we have such a low inventory uh, in you know anywhere right now, uh, what's been happening is that a lot of marketing has been occurring on social media, on different web pages, different uh, uh, websites, and platforms, whatever. Uh, but what's happening is that a lot of this advertisement is being posted without written permission, uh, without written authorization from the listing agent and the brokers. Uh, the only advice I have here, again, I'm only speaking to you as a colleague, you need to be very, very careful uh, with what pieces of marketing that you put out for the listings. Make sure you have written authorization to do so, uh, have some sort of documentation. Uh, I do understand that the rule says at minimum verbal. But my, recommend, my, my question to you there is, can you confirm verbal? Uh, just at least take it that step further and document it that you had the conversation, you have permission. Um, that's not the big concern. And, and we spoke about this at the last MLS committee. What's happening because of that issue is now those listings that are being marketed without permission could potentially be violating uh, copyright infringement laws. And that's way, outside of our purview. So, uh, you know, uh, be cautious, be careful and, and, and uh, revisit with your supervisor and revisit with your broker to make sure you get the proper processes in place uh, to, opt to, to market correctly. And I think Dendia wanted to jump in too. I just wanted to make sure that we're clear on this. 
When you say permission, we also need permission from the seller in writing. Correct? You have to for the you outside have to advertising. Have, you have to have you have to have that permission in writing. You have to. seller also in, as well as the broker mm -hmm. saying yes, you can you can advertise my listing. I just want to be clear, there's two permissions that we need, correct? Yes. The 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 there's one little gray area. I don't know how to answer this yet. I, I I'm uh might recommend that, that people call the legal hotline and ask this question, but there was one question from one agent saying, well, I got permission a year ago for all listings. Uh, it, that one's kind of quasi weird. You need to verify that. Uh, I can't. Really that speak. automatically knocks out the fact that you need the seller's permission for each listing to do the outside advertising outside that brokerage that they were, that they're represented by. Correct. Correct. So just again, just word of caution, guys, be, be careful in, in the marketing that you're doing. It's more than welcome. It's not something that people don't want to be doing. You just got to be very, very careful because there's different layers of authorization, different layers of violations um, that could kick you into something you do not like. So other than that, Lee, I uh, hate to be a bummer, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, good. I appreciate it. You're doing a great job with the MLS committee. Uh, it was a really good report. You guys didn't know David was remodeling his house, and I see David. You've done a wonderful job there. Uh, it's done. It's done. <laughs> Next up uh, is the uh, membership engagement committee. Uh, Juan Delagarza is going to give that report. Yes, so we had a quick meeting on July 28th. It was actually pretty short. So we had a representative, and I don't recall the name of the company from the tech hotline, but they're tech, not, it's just the tech, tech hotline. The tech hotline. Um, we're Pretty much, this is going to be a new member, a new member benefit, but we haven't yet signed anything, so we're not sure we're moving forward with it or not. So that's just going to be something where it's a low cost to each member, and that would each member would have access to pretty much technology when it comes to like software, sitting on their phone, your computer, or whatnot. So it's it's a little bit more, a little bit more detailed, but since we don't have a contract yet, we're not sure we're moving forward. I think at that point we'll we'll discuss that at, at a later date. And then we are looking also reverse researching a texting platform. So there's about six different vendors that we're, we're, uh, we're looking into. And we have each member assigned to a company. So we're looking at what benefits we can get from each company, what's the pricing, what are the logistics and the contracts. And the members are going to respond back this next coming week. We do have a meeting on uh, August 25th. And then we are also teaming up with uh, the PR committee in reference to uh, Clarissa. I'm sure you've heard her uh, mention about the uh, friends of GMAR. So we're also asking each member to present two to five businesses that's uh, willing to um, bring some sort of initiative, uh, like a discount or, or some sort of perk towards our members. So we can work on that list and, and finalize that for, for this for this year, for this coming year. So that was it. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you, Juan. Uh, next up is the political affairs, but I didn't see Sergio there. Sergio Adame is our uh, chairman for the political affairs committee. And so I don't see him. I didn't see him here. So we'll just move on to uh, the tree pack committee. Uh, Jonathan, you're going to give the report for the tree pack. I'll turn it over to you. I think she's going to do Good morning, everybody. Um, tree pack. We got 45 days approximately left in the tree pack year. Uh, for those of you that don't know tree pack, place real estate political action committee. Um, I was joking around with uh, I think Robbie Valadez, I know he's here somewhere, uh, that I wanted to do a tree pack uh, video modeling the ASPCA. But basically, guys, for less than 10 cents a day, you can invest in your business. For $35 a year, you can invest in your business, protect your business, protect our community, protect homeowners' rights. If you don't know Tree Pack, feel free to reach out to myself. Um, we got a lot of Tree Pack investors in here, um, a lot of Tree Pack investors on the screen. I would like to just ask those major investors that are here right now just to take a, a quick stand. So major investor, $1,000 and up. So these are longtime major investors, guys. If you don't know what a major investor is, if you want more information about a major investor, feel free to reach out to any one of them. They will gladly share any info about TruePet. 
Um, going off of that, we are very close to our quota. If I'm not mistaken, we're ninety-six percent for the for the year for our quota, which is very very good. Uh, we were rebounding great after last year's COVID pandemic. Our fishing tournament did great. We exceeded all expectations of our fishing tournament. We brought back the numbers very close to the 2019 numbers. If not, I think we hit that very, very closely with it in terms of teams. Uh, one thing I want to point out, next year's fishing tournament, the date has already been selected. The venue is in process of being selected. We're going to be looking at the uh, Cameron County amphitheater, the south side of the island, um, can host us for years to come. Uh, which is going to be a great spot because it's got access to the beach, it's got parks, it's got changing rooms, it's got indoor air conditioned space, and it's got the amphitheater where we can host uh, host the awards. Um, Monica had come up with this idea of painting party, tree pack painting party. I'm sure you all have seen that memos going out. Um, if you want, if you want to host a tree pack painting party, feel free to get with Monica, get with Miss Shirley. If you have questions about it, feel free to ask me or any one of the tree pack uh, committee members would be more than happy to explain that to you. And just again, I want to touch that we are September 30th and it's a tree pack year. Uh, if you haven't invested in tree pack, $35 is a fair share. If you want to know more about uh, tree pack, feel free to reach out to me, President James, or any one of the major investors that just stood up would be more than happy to share with you about tree pack. Awesome. Thank you, Jonathan. And don't go far because you'll be up uh, coming up real soon. Uh, a couple of thoughts I had when you were saying that is painting party with my military background has a little bit of meaning. Um, and obviously, I don't I don't see any veterans out there because they would have giggled. They would have known what I was talking about. Um, OK, so uh, ultimately, I also wanted to say something uh, more about tree pack. Um, our participation rate right now is at 26 percent, which is um, well dismal uh, for this for the lack of any other words um, statewide we're at 44 percent i believe um, and so if the entire state can do 40 percent or more uh, we as a smaller segment of that uh, of that association should be able to do at least that uh, what that shows is that we really haven't gotten out the word of what tree pack does and what it means and how how it benefits you go to treepack.com there is a calculator there it will show you what tree pack has done for you over the years and in this last legislative session uh, we had some incredible victories uh, most specifically with the homeowners association and being able to um, uh, tame i guess a homeowner association is probably the easiest way to describe it but um, there were some limitations that they had as far as being able to charge for being able to get um, the documents to you and so forth so um, there's just some and registration for homeowner associations so that we can keep track of those a little bit better and be able to, to manage uh, what's going on with the homeowner association. Yesterday we had uh, the uh, the regional meeting. It was all uh, live, and there were obviously lots of things that we discussed. But there was a couple of things I just wanted to mention. One of them is that we have access to Market Viewer. I kind of I thought about it ahead of time. I probably would have provided some slides for you. But you have access to some incredible data um, with respect to the MLS sales, and, and, and you can uh, drill down to the zip code if you wanted to. So it's some incredible um, uh, uh, analytics that you can use for your business to be able to uh, prepare your marketing and, your, and, your, and, and know what's happening in your market. And then the other, the, the other thing that they also provide is the Texas home buyers and sellers a report which has got some incredible um, uh, infographics on that. It's really uh, 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 quite enlightening. Uh, all of that uh, uh, would be available through the Texas Realtors website, which is texasrealestate.com. Um, and then finally, uh, the last thing on the agenda that I have for me is the, uh, the YPN committee. Uh, just, a, just an announcement for you that tonight, uh, between five and seven, um, the YPN committee will be at uh, walk-ons, and that's in Edinburgh, right? Um, so there's a there's a, a social event at that time. There's no cost to get in, um, and um, I think it'll be a really great, uh, really great event. Anything else I need to cover before I turn it over? Okay. So next, uh, of course, we're here for uh, the um, the nominations and. Uh, uh, I'm going to turn that over to Jonathan. So, Jonathan, it's all yours. All right. Thank you. I'm back. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> all 
Hi guys, it was a pleasure to uh, to chair the nominations committee this year. I want to just thank all the applicants that submitted their names. We had uh, a very good turnout, a lot of good applicants. Um, so it was a very good process. Uh, once again, just thank you everybody that submitted their names. Um, I would like to like to welcome everyone who's joined us via Zoom. In order to facilitate today's announcements and to ensure a fair and equitable process, we will outline some rules to be followed today. For starters, we have muted everyone in attendance via Zoom. During the nomination process, if you wish to be recognized, you must ask to be unmuted in the chat feature, at, what, at which time our CEO, Monica Pena, will unmute you and I will recognize you to speak. The nominee must be present to accept the nomination if they're not nominated themselves, uh, nominating themselves. The criteria for each position is outlined and should any nomination be made in which the nominee does not meet the criteria, they are automatically disqualified and will not be included in the association ballot. I will now begin the announcements of and nomination procedures. On July 22nd, 2021, the nominations committee met and vetted all candidate applications for officers and directors of the Greater McCallum Association of Realtors. Thereafter, the slate of officers was submitted to the board of directors for approval in accordance with our bylaws. The slate of officers as selected and approved by the board of directors are as follows. The current president-elect, Henry McFarland, automat automatically proceeds to the office of GMAR president for 2022. President-elect, Juan de la Garza. Treasurer, Ramon Ignacio Pacino III. Secretary, Anita Moon. For the two director positions that are available, it's Alma Peck and Maria Elena Sanchez. I will now present each office separately and allow for, allow for nominations from the floor. When making nominations, please state your name and the nominee's name clearly. The criteria to hold any officer position is outlined in GMA, GMAR bylaws, Article 11, Section 1B. The president, president-elect, secretary, and treasurer shall have previously served for, more, for one year or more on the Greater McCallum Association of Realtors Board of Directors or as MLS chairperson. For the office of president-elect, are there any nominations from the floor? Happy to say you on this. I nominate Tom Brown Moon. Mr. Tom Brown Miller has been nominated from the floor. Are there any further nominations from the floor? Nobody's being asked to be recognized now. Let me go to Facebook. <clears throat> there being none, the chair declares the nominations closed. For the Office of Treasurer, are there any nominations from the floor? There being none, the chair declares the nominations closed. With there being no nominations, I will now entertain a motion to elect by acclamation. Moving, we accept uh, the okay. treasurer by acclamation. We have a motion on the floor. Would, do we hear a second? I second. Robbie Valadez, thank you. We have a motion and a second for uh, to elect by acclamation. Is there any discussion? Nothing on chat. Seeing that there's none, all those in favor of vote by acclamation for Ramon Ignacio Pacina III to be treasurer, say aye. 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 All those opposed, the same sign. Motion passes. For the Office of Secretary, are there any nominations for the floor? Alberto Sanchez, I would like to nominate Avisa Ortiz for the secretary position. Thank you. Mr. A.B. Ortiz has been nominated from the floor. Are there any further nominations from the floor? No 
There being none, the chair declares the nominations closed. The criteria to hold any position of director is outlined in GMAR bylaws, Article 11, Section 3C. That they must hold a realtor membership in GMAR and be a realtor in good standing for the previous three years. For the two open positions of director, are there any nominations from the board? Tom Brownmiller, I'd like to nominate Alberto Sanchez as a director for the three year position. Thank you, sir. Alberto Sanchez has been nominated from the floor. Are there any further nominations from the floor? I see none. I see none on the Zoom. There being none, the chair declares the nominations closed. Thank you, everybody. Well, that is all the business that we had uh, for today. And uh, I'm just kind of looking to see if there are any announcements that I need to go over. Monica, how about anything do you think I need PR to mention specifically? I, I know that the PR committee uh, didn't join, but uh, they're working on doing the Comfort House uh, uh, fundraiser that we've done in previous years in the next couple of uh, in September um, announcements will go out about how to do those uh, donations that we have uh, picked up in previous years. That's always been a very successful uh, fundraiser to help somebody, uh, an organization in the community. Plus the next two days, um, the PR committee is going to be making deliveries to the hospitals with the essential worker t-shirts, the tree pack fundraiser, one of the tree pack fundraisers that we've been doing for $35 t-shirt and a mask is donated to an essential worker at the hospitals. Uh, they are six hospitals where we're making deliveries and there's 300 shirts that are going to be delivered, plus snacks and drinks that we're also, that they're also providing. So we wanna thank the PR committee for going above and beyond to make sure that those deliveries take place to those workers who are stretched very thin right now. Right. Okay, well, we appreciate the work that the PR committee is doing. I appreciate you guys showing up. Yes, sir. Looks like David got something. Commercial maybe. <clears throat> yeah, we can hold off on it. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Uh, then that concludes our meeting. Thank you for uh, attending. And um, we will see you next month at our annual membership meeting uh, after after the vote.